Hey YouTube, my name is Jeff and welcome back to my series. While I did mention that the previous video will be the last in this mini-series, I decided to change that today. A while ago, I ordered a Qi wireless charging coil and micro USB receiver, and I mentioned adding them to my phone holder in the future. Wireless charging is becoming quite popular, and I wanted to try it out with my devices as it makes charging so much easier. Unfortunately, my phone is a couple years old and it doesn't support wireless charging out of the box. To add that functionality, I had to get this receiver, which would allow most phones to charge wirelessly through micro USB. The receiver connects to my phone via a super thin cable and the coil rests on the back of the device. Since I don't want to attach the receiver to the back of my phone with the included adhesive, putting it in my case should help keep it in place. Now that the receiver is in place, it's time to attach the coil to the inside of the holder. The easiest way to attach the coil to the holder would be to use the included adhesive on the back, but due to the holder's design, there would be too much space between the phone and the coil. To solve this, I grabbed the roll of thick double-sided tape, cut it into a tiny square, and placed it in the middle of the coil to secure it to the inside front of the holder. Now that the coil is secured to the inside of the holder, all that's left is to plug in the power cable into the breakout board and make sure my phone starts charging. As you can see, the phone recognizes the coil and begins charging. The phone holder is finally completed, and now I can just drop my phone on the charger when I get to work and my phone will stay charged throughout the day. I'm satisfied with how the phone holder came out after all the work I put into it, and now that it's done, I will be using it daily. I hope you enjoyed watching this series, and if you want to see more content like this, be sure to like the video and stay tuned. Thanks again for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more awesome 3D modeling and printing videos.